Okay, this is the next. If I knew then, three minute game, zero increment, playing as white this time. So it opened with trusted e4, captured, and attacked the queen with a lesser piece. Developed the pawn, all straightforward stuff, x ray through to the king, and captured the knight. So this game went with the sort of psychology of destruction, just based on what the opponent was uh, allowing us to go for. So it went for destruction of their pawn structure on the queen side. Castled. And there's attack potential towards their bishop. They do actually capture, so we capture with the queen. So now we can capture their knight and look for destruction on the king side. So pawn structure on both the king, king side and the queen side is a little bit disrupted on the opponent's side. So feeling fairly comfortable that we might be able to manage maybe some type of management with the rooks on the um a potential open file which isn't created as yet. So we bring the knight up and attack the bishop or attacking the pawn. And because it's a quick game, we've still got time. We've got two minutes and 36 seconds. Um, um denied in my brain, I felt like I um denied about which one I would potentially go for depending on what the opponent did. And I was going for this because I'm thinking, yeah, okay, we get a pawn for free and get a check on the king. So they did come and castle. I'm thinking, well, okay, could champion taking the pawn, getting the check on the king? If it's getting rid of a pawn, it's a free piece. Whereas if I take here and bring the pawns back in line. But then I'm thinking, well, if I take the knight bishop off the board, brings it back in line, I think I'm going to be in a better position because their king is opened and airy. So our rooks will be able to own this file. So we actually took the bishop. Computer saying that's not the right move. It's basically saying taking the pawn was the best move. Hindsight, yeah, I probably would say yes. Because everything's now kind of sort of locked in the centre here. Our mantra goes, knights hunt the bishops in our mantra. Knights hunt, knights hunt the bishops in our mantra. Um, so I think we just fell back on that and just took, whereas I think we should have just pushed it a little bit more and said, well, it's going to be a little bit locked down here. Maybe I was also fearful of facing the bishop, you know, with the knight. I'm just thinking, let's simplify this as best possible because there's no open files at the minute for the rooks. So now we're looking to challenge the centre and get things opened up. So the opponent obliges, so we can now own the centre with the rooks. So feeling fairly good now. Um, computer's showing it's a draw, but I'm feeling good because we're owning the file with the rook. Simple support with the pawn and just bringing the rook up now. So it looks like we're being more ad advantageous when we're attacking. So we're going to support and just bring the rook up. So again, our rook looks a little bit more lively. So we look like we're going to be trying to peel off some pieces, but how how much we're going to get, not too sure. This is feeling good. Oh, I was always worried he's going to come back and come round again, but the king does have space to come here. So I'm thinking, this might not be too bad after all. So now we can start peeling pieces off, come back into the um, open file just to manage that area, support the pawns coming up, and I don't think there's much that can stop the pawn coming up and getting a queen. And at that point, um, Black resigned. So all in all, out of that particular game there, the only manoeuvre I would probably change is taking the bishop with the knight. So really, I should have just gone with the check. 